what is going on multiversers welcome back to the channel player first games the developers for multiverses just posted a big thread over on twitter and it tells us every one of their top priorities that they are working on and that will be coming to the game in the very near future as well as something that's already been improved in the game right now and i got a screenshot to prove it but let's discuss everything so let's start with the first tweet in this long list of uh, tweets that they ended up making this big thread. So the first one is, hey, thanks for the continued feedback. They appreciate it. So here's an update on the areas that the dev team is currently working on or their current priorities. And as we can see, first one right at the top, improving Xbox performance. This is a big one. A lot of people are frustrated with this, so hopefully they can finally get this figured out and Xbox players can just enjoy playing the game without having any interruptions, any stuttering, any frame drops, any problems. So hopefully they get that uh, solved. But then you see the other ones lowering match desync rates please this needs to happen and then removal of some gameplay loops that had very little counterplay because yes there there's quite a few loops in this game that do make it unfun to play it's like all right maybe i'm just gonna stop playing for now because i'm gonna keep running into this and i don't enjoy it so hopefully they can get that stuff figured out but they do mention there a patch is coming soon that should be a good step in the right direction so it feels like these are the next several patches everything we're about to talk about in this video is a part of the next several patches so i believe these first three that we just talked about should be a part of the first patch and well keep improving from there so next up they tell us this on top of this we're working on and testing the following features which they know the players want and they are these things are important to the players so that includes spectator for custom games Okay, cool. Well, it's not a big deal for me. I don't really do custom games or watch them, so it's still nice. Spectator's great. A free-for-all queue. I would love this. Free-for-all was in the open beta, so I'd love to see them bring this back, so that'd be great. Um, but uh, they got that. And then a setting to swap neutral and forward attacks. Please, yes, yes, this was in the open beta. One of the best, one of the best settings in the game, so I cannot wait for them to finally get this back into the game. Continuing on, we got a setting to turn off team colors. Uh, setting for adjustable input buffers and end of game stats. We've talked about those topics a few times on the channel already, but here's some new things. As you can see, the fourth thing on there, allowing players to keep their party together when going from PVP to PVE or the rift mode and then back again. This is good. This is not really something I was thinking about, but I'm so glad that they addressed this because I played I played rift mode with a few people and then we want to jump into, you know, PVP. Well, then the party's got to disband and we got we got to go through the whole process of reinviting people. And it's just kind of stupid. So I'm glad that this is on their radar and, you know, parties could just stay together and you could go from rifts to PVP back to rifts to, to whatever you want to do. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And then, of course, the last one there, replay button for rifts. This one's a big one. Oh, there's nothing worse than losing one of the nodes. Say I'm fighting a boss or whatever and I lose. And then it makes me go all the way back to the beginning. Got to select my character again. Got to make sure everything's set up. And it's like, no. So apparently if you lose a match, there should just be a replay button right there at the end and you just right back into it. So big fixes. I love that. And even more because there's a lot in this video that we're talking about. But up next, dedicated neutral dodge button setting. I didn't know this was a thing people are asking for. So uh, positive, right? If people are asking for it. It's on their list. So it's kind of cool. The camera adjustments for 1v1 matches. This is something I have, as well as many other people have been asking for. Just pull the camera back just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm glad this is on the radar. And then they mention ranked mode. We wanted a bit more time to get the balance right before unleashing ranked. Now, I'm kind of weird about this. I'm on the fence about this. Like for one, ranked should have been a part of the relaunch because that's the full game, right? But then again, I kind of I kind of understand why it's not here. If they're trying to balance it and the things that they'd be balancing would be like points. How many points do you get for a win? How many points do you get for a loss? How all that little the details that people probably don't think about. They are trying to fine tune that. So hopefully once ranked mode comes out, they just nail it and it's ready to go. But ranked mode is still on its way, but they're doing a little bit more, you know, fine tuning for it. Now, here's one that's currently actually changed in game already. So they mentioned that they are reevaluating battle pass progression. And additionally, they are reevaluating re where they distribute battle pass XP. 
So for this season, season one, the one that we're in right now, they're going to be adding more Battle Pass XP to PvP matches. They've increased it. If you won, you used to get 10, but now you get 50. And if you lost, you only got five, but now you get 25. Here's a quick screenshot in game. I, I just won a match. Actually, I actually won a couple, but nobody cares. But the point is you can see 50 XP battle pass is already being applied. This is currently in game. This is already thing. Don't need to update your game or nothing. It's just win. Now you get 50 instead of 10. So this is a fantastic change. I'll be curious to see what they what they mean by reevaluating battle pass progression with the distributing battle pass XP. Does that mean there's going to be like maybe a little bit less because you can earn more battle pass XP from PVP games? Does that mean the battle pass XP earned from like uh, dailies? challenges and um, you know those type of challenges are they going to shrink that a little bit to kind of compensate for it we'll have to wait and see how that plays out but at least currently battle pass xp earned from pvp has been increased massive <laughs> thumbs up continuing right along we got this now they tell us that they are going to be evaluating and making additional adjustments for season two going forward they will ensure that all pve rifts can have access to rewards without being forced to play co-op. Oh, that's that's big, that's big. I've only played Rifts with a couple of people, but that fifth challenge that's always down there at the bottom, bring another player with you. Ah, oh, no, that just sucks. But I like their solution here. If you do still, you can still play co-op in Rifts. That's still gonna be a thing. But if you do play it, you're just gonna make progress a little bit faster than you would if you were playing solo. But again, solo players, can have access to all the rewards. So I like that good change on their part. The, again, the addition, bring a, a player with you in riffs. It's cool. I get what they were trying to do. Like, hey, bring a friend with and play. Not everybody has friends like me that we can just invite and, you know, hey, let's do some riffs real quick. You know, not everybody has access to that. So it's good that they're making this change. Now for character balance, uh, a tiny bit of information. They kind of mentioned that the balance front their goal is always to make every character fun to play as, to play with, and then of course to play against. So they're gonna continue to tune and balance each character to provide the best possible gameplay because like we mentioned at the very beginning of the video, they are tuning loops in this game. There's many, if not, does every character have a loop at some point? But I know many, many, many characters on the roster have some sort of loop and you almost can, you pretty much, you cannot escape it unless your opponent lets you. So if you get caught in this loop, it's not fun to play the game. So they're gonna be trying to change that and that's gonna come in the form of character adjustments. What those be, will be, we'll have to wait for future patches and patch notes to you know fully see what they are changing, but this is on their radar. So hopefully they can kind of figure out all these loops and essentially eliminate them for the most part. You know, it's fine to have like a, a mini loop, but it better not go on forever. And then of course, ending off the video, the last tweet that they made, they do want everyone to keep in mind timing for adding these features and implementing these fixes could shift based on testing. So basically they got their list of priorities that they are changing, that they want in the game. But if something happens during testing that makes something go, I don't know, take rank mode for example, they wanna get ranked mode out, but again, it's not quite to the level that they want it, they might have to push it back just a little bit. And that goes for everything that we discussed in this video. So hopefully testing goes smoothly for all of these issues and changes that they are wanting to implement to the game. And then we could just get, well, a much better version of the game. And I do fully believe we will get there. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but we will get there. So they wanted to give us, you know, the update on their current priority. So I just wanna say, player first games i do respect at least the communication here letting us letting us the players know what you guys are working on this is this is big so keep up the communication and uh, you know this game can be pretty successful